Well, hiya, BookTube. Bill Rutenberg here with the Rutenberg Library. Wanted to come to you today with my nonfiction November 2022 TBR. Uh, you know, the long-awaited month of November. This is a, uh, a yearly activity that Olive over at a Book Olive puts on, and it is a demonstration of all of our love of nonfiction works. And of course, here at the uh, Rutenberg Library, that is primarily what we read. And so um, I absolutely love this reading event that Olive puts on. And um, I've been waiting till the end of the month to kind of make my final decisions on what I am going to read for this month. And I wanted to share those with you since November is just a couple of days away. So let me start this off with uh, every year when Olive puts on this event, she always does some word prompts. And uh, it's not something that you necessarily have to do, but if you can match your books up with these word prompts in one way or another, uh, it's just kind of a fun way to make it a little bit more challenging. And also with this uh, reading event for Nonfiction November, it's really just about reading nonfiction reading more than what you normally do. So if you are somebody who never reads nonfiction, try to pick up a book. Try to pick up maybe a couple of books. If you're somebody like me that regularly reads nonfiction, try to match up with the prompts. Try to read more than you usually do. Um, so what I have done is I have picked four books that uh, I am going to read this month that I'm going to match up with these prompts. Now, these books are not very long because I have a couple of other major works that I am that I am uh, working on this month. And so uh, I didn't want to deter from that. I wanted to continue working on those. So let me share with you the four prompts. So the first one is record and then element and then border and secret. So let's start with record. And for for the um, prompt record, I chose a book by James McPherson uh, for Cause and Comrades, Why Men Fought in the Civil War. And uh, this is, I, I am sure, going to be a wonderful, wonderful reading experience. I love James McPherson. I've had this on a couple of my other TBRs, so I thought now is probably the time to knock this thing out. And again, all of the books I've chosen are about this big. They're not, you know, this is this is only a 237 page work. So uh, I am looking forward to it. I'll read the back to you. And this was the also the winner of the 1998 Lincoln Prize. But it says, why did the soldiers of the Civil War, Confederate and Union, risk their lives through countless bloody battles in four long, awful years? Drawing on more than 25,000 uncensored letters and nearly 250 diary, uh, private diaries from men on both sides, James McPherson shows that the soldiers of the Civil War remain powerfully convinced of the ideals for which they fought throughout the conflict. Motivated by duty and honor and often by religious faith, these men wrote frequently of their firm belief in the cause for which they went to war, the principles of liberty, freedom, justice, and patriotism. For Cause and Comrades lets these soldiers tell their stories in their own words to create an account that is both deeply moving and far truer than most, of the, most books on war. McPherson's masterful prose and the soldiers' words combine to create both an important book on an often overlooked aspect of our bloody civil war and a powerfully moving account of the men who fought it. And so um, using the records that are left behind by these men, James McPherson has put together, but yet another masterpiece of Civil War literature um, or Civil War uh, nonfiction here. So, so for the second prompt here in the uh, nonfiction November 2022 is Element. And uh, the book that I chose for Element is another Civil War book, the U.S. Civil War Battle by Battle by Ian McGregor. And this is uh, a book that's from Osprey. And I had showed you on the channel before. It's got some great artwork. And if you notice through there, it's got each of these battles have got their own elements. Each one's fought in different weather conditions. 
and different, uh, you know, some of them are on land, some of them are, are on sea, some of them are at night, some of them are during the day, some of them are during the winter, some of them are during the summer, some of them are during rain, some of them when it's dry. So anyway, you get the point, all kinds of elements. And I really look forward to this. Um, it says, the U.S. Civil War was one of the most cataclysmic military struggles of the late 19th century. In four bloody years of fighting from 1861 to 1865, more than 620,000 American soldiers and sailors lost their lives in more than 8,000 battles, engagement skirmishes from famous clashes such as battles of Gettysburg and Fredericksburg through to the less well-known such as the battles of Brandy Station and Cedar Creek. Illustrated throughout the U.S. Civil War battle by battle, tells the story of 30 significant engagements covering every theater of the war detailing infantry, cavalry, artillery, and seaborne units from both the Union and Confederate forces to give a true sense of the scale of the war that tore the country apart. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be uh, a good one. I love the illustrations in this. It does a good job of you know giving you the, the, um, the visualization for each of those battles. So uh, the next prompt, the third prompt in the nonfiction November 2022 is Border. And so for this, I chose Stephen Ambrose's Halleck, Lincoln's Chief of Staff. And this is a biography on Henry Halleck. And uh, I've been wanting to read this because I've been trying to read all of Stephen Ambrose's works. And this one's been on the TBR for a while. And so I am going to knock this out this nonfiction November because Halleck was originally stationed out in the West, right on the border of the, the North and South and the, in the Illinois, Tennessee, Missouri, you know, theater out there in the Western theater. And so, um, I'm going to use this for border and, um, and it's exact, I don't, I'm not going to read anything from it cause it's exactly what it says, you know, a biography on Henry Halleck. So really looking forward to that again, not this book, isn't that long, 226 pages. So I should be able to knock that out with no problem. The last book in this year's nonfiction, November 2022, prompt number four is Secret. And so I chose Crossroads of Freedom, uh, a book on Crossroads of Freedom, Antietam, The Battle That Changed the Course of the Civil War. And this is another one by James McPherson. Really looking forward to that. Um, this I put I picked this for secret because if you remember your Civil War history, uh, the only reason that uh, General Mc, uh, McClellan was able to um, kind of head off General Lee is because he stole his secrets, his battle plans that got left behind in one of the one of the fields that the Confederates had uh, camped in. And they were able to take the secrets and from a cigar wrapper, take it back to McClellan. And then he knew the secrets of the Southern uh, Army. And this says, the Battle of Antietam fought on September 17th, 1862, was the bloodiest single day in American history with more than 6,000 soldiers killed. Here, James McPherson paints a masterful account of this pivotal battle, the events that led up to it and its aftermath McPherson vividly describes a day of savage fighting in uh, locales that became forever famous. The Cornfield, the Dunkard Church, the West Woods, and Bloody Lane. Antietam was a critical victory for the Union. It restored morale in the North and kept Lincoln's party in control of Congress. It crushed Confederate hopes of British intervention, and it freed Lincoln to deliver the Emancipation Proclamation which instantly changed the character of the war. McPherson brilliantly weaves these strands of diplomatic, political, and military history into a compact, swift-moving narrative that shows why America's bloodiest day is indeed a turning point in our history. And so really looking forward to these four books. Uh, should be some good reading for nonfiction November. There's my four that I chose. And uh, the, the really good thing about this is Antietam, Halleck, and uh, for Cause and Comrades, 
have all been on my TBR lists for a long time, and these will also knock out the uh, the TBR elimination challenge that I that I uh, presented myself with earlier this uh, school year. I decided to go back and reread through all of my um, my TBR list that I created. The two and a half years I've been on BookTube, uh, two and a half plus years I've been on BookTube, and I've been wanting to knock those lists out. So that will those will also double up for those. But uh, yeah, BookTube. This is like I said, nonfiction November, twenty twenty two, and uh, those are my picks. What are you picking? What are you reading? Uh, share share with me down below what you are uh, gonna pick up and read, and uh, I will leave a link to Olive's announcement video and then uh, any other uh, videos that she made that goes with Nonfiction November. I'll leave a link to those down below in the description. I uh, thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and a very happy Nonfiction November. So until next time, BookTube, happy reading.